Hey, it's Iris here. Just wanted to show you how I made my Google Forms banner. So when you go into Canva, you're just going to go to the Google Classroom header, and that is pretty much the same size as the Google Forms banner. So I created this design. I just added my Instagram here, and then just a little tagline down here and a photo. I like this cartoon of myself. I get tired of all my headshots, so I just put my little cartoon, and I just put a picture back here. I put this element, this little angle, the black one, behind the photo. It's really, I think, like just a square, actually. And I tilted it a little bit using this little guy down here. You go ahead and download it. And then you will um, go to your Google Docs, Google Forms. You can actually just Google it, Google Forms, and it'll bring you here. And then you will go to this little paint palette to customize it and then upload your image here. So that's what I did. And then it automatically selects your colors. And I kind of like what they've chosen for me. So I'm just going to leave it. And then you're just going to type in what you want to know about your clients. So think of all the common questions you ask them and just type them in here. Now make sure that you label your contact form. Um, give it a little bit of a brief title so people don't get thrown off and they're just more likely to fill it out if they know what the questionnaire is about. Please type in your full name. That's a given. Anything with this red star is required. So I don't require their phone number because some people don't want to get calls. Actually, a lot of people don't. Address is not required because, again, um, you want this form to be filled out as much as possible. So only require the information that most people are uh, willing to, to give. How often would you like to communicate? I put that in here because some people want to talk every single day, whereas for others, that gets kind of annoying. The best way to communicate, I'm more of a texter, um, so that would be me. But, um, and then how much education and information would you like throughout your experience? So now this is a really good tool to get to know how needy your client is. So if they want to know, you know, every day, like what's going on, they need like a quick, you know, even if it's a 10 second rundown email at the end of the day, it's good to know that um, that's the type of person they are. So you want to add that. So over here on the right side is how you add the questions. So continuing on, um, it, ac it actually adds it to the very top of the form. And then you have to take this little six dots here and drag it to where you want it. So this is going to be when do you need to move. And then sometimes Google will automatically guess what kind of question it is. And it saw the when do you need to move so it automatically put this date here i think i'm guessing i didn't see it happen but um but you can select all these different short answer paragraph multiple choice check boxes you can do a drop down um so you can do a drop down and say spring fall summer etc but for uh, my purposes, I'm just going to do a quick and easy uh, short answer so that they can put in whatever they want. I'm not going to make it required because sometimes they don't honestly know. And the easier the form, the more likely they'll want to fill it out and not get frustrated in the process. So the next question I want to ask is what part of town do you want? So again, you can do multiple choice. I like to keep it simple and just stick with the short answer. Again, not making it required, but that's what you'll do here. And then you can always copy and duplicate this, this question. Um, and then my next question is going to be, how many people are in your house? Household. Short answer text. Um, so anyway, just type in all the questions that you typically ask your clients. And then this will be in your checklist. You, um, every time you have a client, this is kind of like the onboarding process. So if you need my checklist, my mega checklist for it's from pre-client all the way to post-client. So this would be send client Google form. So when you get a new client, there's like a list of all these things that you will do to start their onboarding or uh, process of home buying search or whatever.
Now, when you're done with this form, it's easy to send. You just send it. You're going to put it um, to the person you want to send it to, and the subject is contact form. You can change that to say, I'd like to get to know you, um, or new client questionnaire, or whatever you want to call it. And then include the form in your email. Because when people have to click outside of a link, chances are they're not going to do it. Chances are they may not get around to filling it out. So the easier it is, the more likely you'll get the um, information from your clients. You can also do a link, copy the link in an email, send it um, through Messenger. You can embed it into your website. So that's a whole nother, another thing to learn about. So today we're just going to email them. If you click this collect email addresses button, then they're going to have to sign in. So you always want to make sure that that's unchecked so that you can get people's emails, I'm sorry, people's content from outside of Gmail. Not everybody has a Gmail. There's some people that have AOL still. So that's going to force you to sign into a Gmail account. Well, that's it. That's all for the Google Forms for real estate. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm happy to answer all of those for you. I hope you learned something today. Have an awesome day, week, month. And I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.